Hello everyone, welcome to another video. This one's going to be on a port that will allow you to play the Duke Nukem 64 ROM uh, natively on your PC. Uh, so if you do like that game and you would like to see how it runs, you know, with enhanced graphics, uh, go ahead and open up your browser. We're going to shoot on over to Red Nukem. You're going to type that into your browser. Uh, the very first website that shows up should be this one, so go ahead and click on that. You're going to choose either the 32-bit or the 64-bit of the uh, program. You're going to go ahead and download that into your Downloads folder. Once you are done, just navigate to that folder. Uh, you're going to extract that to its, uh, you know, extract to. Uh, pick the option with the name of the folder so it creates it for you. Or the name of the file so it creates the folder. Once that's done, you're simply going to take your ROM. And, you know, I can't tell you where to get that, so you just have to look that you know on your own uh, once that's uh, in there you are pretty much done you can just go ahead and click on Nukem it's going to automatically show you that it did find that if it does not appear on here if for some reason it's the wrong version uh, you know it's not going to start letting you know that, that it, it isn't correct so you would have to find another one try and find one with the same exact name that you see on here and that should work fine for you you want to make sure polymer is off you also want to make sure this is also not checked and then uh, you can leave this uh, on for a couple times while you test it. But once you have it running, you know, to the specs that you want, you can go ahead and uncheck this so it'll shoot right into the game. You won't need to, to mess with anything else. So go ahead and check your, uh, you know, resolution that you want to run it at. Go ahead and hit start. And I said it should start up for you with no problem. So as you can see, it does run. So it's literally the uh, Nintendo 64 version. You know, you'll be able to do, um, you know, obviously a lot more with the uh, resolutions and so forth because it is a port. So once you've picked everything you want, you just apply changes and you can jump right into the game. Now, one more thing I am going to show you, uh, it does run with reshade, so you can actually run it with reshade also. All right, so once you launch Reshade, you should get this window here. You're going to go ahead and click on Browse and navigate to the uh, folder where you have that uh, Red Nukem installation. So you're going to click on this. You are going to click Open. You're going to click Next, and then you're going to go ahead and pick, I believe it's OpenGL. Let's go ahead and... Now, normally for you, you're not going to get this window. You're just going to go ahead and go through the normal steps. You're going to click next again and you're going to pick the effects that you want. So the one that I like to use is this one up here. And then you're going to scroll down to legacy effects. We're just going to use one out of each of these. So once that loads, you're going to hit uncheck. You're going to go ahead and do the HQ4 on the other one. The other one I bypassed because I already had it installed. So when you guys do it, you're going to get two steps. So the first one you're going to pick the uh, the option on top, like I said, and then you're going to go to the one on the bottom and pick HQ4. Now what you're going to do, we're going to go ahead and launch the uh, game. Okay, once you get that launch, you're going to be greeted with this window again. So just go ahead and click on start. And as you can see, uh, the reshade did load for you. So you're going to go ahead and hit the home key. That'll bring up this menu. And like I said, I already had this one, so it's checked. So we're going to bypass down all the way over here to HQ4. If you did it like I said, you shouldn't see all of these. You may see a few, but the ones we're going to pick is Advanced CRT and HQ4. Then once you have that pick, you're going to uncheck performance mode. So you got the options. Then you're going to go in there, kind of mess around with the settings. So to get it to look the smoothest here, we're going to click on the HQ4. You want to try not to ever go above 1500 because you can see at the 1500 there, it does look pretty smooth. You can go ahead and, you know, kind of lower this to make it look a little less smooth. So with this one, we could probably get away with a thousand on here. So we can set that strength to a thousand. All right, so we got that done. Now for the other part, I kind of like it, the scan lines to stand out as much as possible. So I like to uncheck this one here. And then also this one. If you check them, it kind of, you know, you see how it kind of takes away the scan line. So you kind of want, at the very least, go ahead and uncheck that over sample. And 
and the bloom effect I don't think affects it that much but it does I guess it just brightens it up a little bit so we can go ahead and leave that checked but again that's your preference and then you're gonna go to the section here where it says resolution now if you do 1980 uh, or yeah 1980 by two, uh, 1920 by 1080 if you do that you should kind of leave the settings more or less around here so where you get the you know the spacing between the lines but it doesn't look like it's the graphics are corrupt so right there I have it at see what number so somewhere in and around 7.586 you want to go ahead and click performance once you hit escape you can go ahead and launch the game and see how it looks for you I believe I had to load here so we'll just go ahead and load that and we'll run a little bit of the game here for you So this is really cool running this on the PC because you can, uh, you know, you have a lot more options as far as graphics. Uh, you can actually see what it looked like on the N64. There are a lot of differences versus the original one. The gameplay is more or less the same, but there are a lot of, you know, subtle, like for example, I'm pretty sure this wasn't on the PC version. So there's going to be little things here and there that differ from the, uh, you know, the PC version. And this is cool. So you can run it on the PC even though it's the 64 ROM one from Nintendo. So as you can see, this is running really cool. So hopefully this uh, helps you guys if you do want to go ahead and give this a try. So that's the end of this video. Go ahead and give this a try if you want to check it out. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Please hit that subscribe button and we'll see you soon.